Melissa Daniels. Can you come over and uh, escort this student for me over to F-28? Dwayne, uh, I'm going to walk through the cafeteria. Can you get the golf cart and um, go over there on the other side of the uh, tennis court by the soccer play? Oh, Ms. Horton. Come on down anytime, Mr. Ramirez. What you just viewed was a unit in 996P2 scanner with three systems programmed into it uh, containing eight high schools and the activity coming out of those high schools. This really isn't that difficult to uh, program. These are conventional systems and if you use the free scan software it's really rather easy to do. And so my goal today is to do that on this video and show how I've, I've done it. Here's what I'm trying to do with my three system project. I've, this, I call this high school scanning and what I've got is three high school districts. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. The first district, District 1, has a group of two high schools, Alpha High School and Baker High School. The second, High School District 2, has a group 1 which has a Charlie High School and a Delta High School. And finally, district, dist, High School District 3 has two groups. First group has uh, Echo High School and Foxtrot High School. And the second group has George High School and Howard High School. And it's kind of important to conceptualize this stuff before you put it in the scanner because the, the scanner likes to work in system concepts. This is the program I'm going to use to program the 996P2 scanner. It's called FreeScan and it's, it's a piece of uh, free software. It's available from radioreference.com. And I'll just start right up. First of all, I want to have three systems. So I'm going to start open those up right away. There's one. It's going to be conventional. And I'm going to call that high school district one. And then I'm going to start open another one. I'm going to call that high school district two. And then finally the third one. I'm going to call that High School District 3. And there we have the three districts. The uh, basis of the groups have been built up already. Now because District 3 has two groups, I'm going to go ahead and add a group to that one. So I'll click on District 3 to make sure the computer knows what I'm talking about. And I will go New Group. And now I've got two groups in District 3, 1 and 2, and 1 and 1. The next thing I'm going to do is assign quick keys for all the districts and groups in this uh, programming adventure. I'll start with uh, High School District 1. I'll give it a quick key of 1. Then I'll move to Group 1 in High School 1. And I'll give it also a quick key of 1. High School District 2 will get a quick key of 2. Group 1 in High School District 2 will get a quick key of 1. High School District 3 will get a quick key of 3. Group 1 in District 3 will get a quick key of 1. And Group 2 will in uh, District 3 will get a group key of 2. And that uh, takes care of assigning quick keys. Now I'm going to add the actual channels to these systems. And we'll start off with uh, District 1. There's nothing that's really to add there. Moving to Group 1, District 1. Here's where we start uh, adding the channels. I know there's going to be two in here, so I'm going to go to the green arrow and click it twice. That gives me two channels worth of uh, input. I'll go to display. The first channel's name is Alpha High School. The frequency is 151.865.00. Uh, it's going to be set for a narrow FM. And the audio type is going to be uh, uh, analog only. Second one is Baker High School. Oops. With a frequency of 
and uh, modulation of um, narrow band modulation. I'll set it for analog for audio for uh, uh, audio type, and I've got to go back here. I missed this uh, and set the tones on them. Alpha is a DCS, so I'll set it for uh, its code, which is 54, which is right there. And Baker is a CTCSS, so I'll set that for 94.8 right there, and that completes that completes that group. Okay, and now off to this to District Two, Group One. This is a two-channel uh, group, so I'll click it twice. Open that up. That's going to be Charlie High School with a frequency of um, 152.3900 and a tone of 94.8. Uh, modulation narrowband FM and analog and audio type analog. Then we have Delta High School with a frequency of 155330 with a, a tone of uh, 94.8, which is right there. Uh, narrowband FM. And we're in our done. I'm now done with uh, group two. I'm sorry, group one and district two. And now I'm going to move off to uh, the third district, group one. Group one also has two channels one, two, display. First one is going to be Echo High School with a frequency of uh, 157.6500 with a tone of 94.8 that's a CTCSS tone modulation narrowband FM and analog Foxtrot High School has a frequency of um, 160200 uh, and has a DCS code of 165, which will be down here in the bottom somewhere, 165 right there. It is also narrowband FM and analog. So that does it for Group 1, District 3. Now for Group Group 2, District 3. Once again, we're going to add two channels, 1 and 2. This is going to be George High School with a frequency of 152465 and a tone of uh, DCS tone of 311 which is down here somewhere uh, right there also narrowband FM and also analog and the last one Holly High School has a frequency of 155.1600 and a tone of 94.8, a PL tone or a, a CTCSS tone. And it's also narrow banded and it's also analog. And so that completes the inputting of all the channels on the three systems with the five different, with the four, you know, four different groups. Well, in all projects like this, it seems like an error always shows up, and I caught one on my program here, so I'm going to go back and fix it. And I think it was in this group. Yes, it's in this group. This frequency, I had a typo there. I'm going to fix that typo. And that would really be 157.6500. And that takes care of that. Now that that is complete, I want to save it before I lose it so I don't have to do it over again. So I'll just save as, um, just call it Scanning High School. And there we have.
of Scanning High School up on the top. The next and hopefully final step on this little, little adventure is to upload this information into the uh, uh, scanner. And so I'm going to go up here and find this walkie-talkie with a little arrow sticking up, which is Upload to Scanner. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to choose to, in uh, my case, I'm going to erase all systems and upload. I've got to make sure all three of these systems, System District 1, District 2, and District 3 are check marked and so they are now and I'm going to click upload and away it goes you'll see a little transference of data going on there and that's it it's complete here's how the scanner reacts when I send this upload to it Just as a refresher, here's what the uh, programming performed. Uh, I called it high school scanning, and we have District 1, District 2, and District 3. District 1, of course, has the two high schools under a group. District 2 has um, uh, two high schools under another group. And District 3 has two groups, each with two high schools. And that's what the scanner will be looking at on this particular program.